Hello. In this video, we'll be looking at how to add a visualization or a user interface to your Code Assist project. So here we have our training project one uh, project open that we've been using for our previous videos. And you can see that we have the J1939 CAN bus added here and a CAN open CAN bus added here, which we've done in previous videos. Um, this should have no effect really on the user interface at this point. Uh, we will be using some of the signals for that from the CAN buses in future videos to link to our user interface to like link to a gauge or something. For instance, we could use our like engine speed signal um, that we will add here to link to a gauge in our user interface. But in this video, we're simply showing how to add a user interface to the project. And it's pretty simple. Uh, so we're going to click here on application and right click and we get this menu. So we're going to come down to add object and find visualization and add that in. So it, it comes up and asks you if you want to use this visualization symbols library. Uh, you can use it or not, you know, we can say active if we want. And hit add. And this should take a second as it's adding everything uh what is this message so uh so this project was initially created with uh code 3.5 uh, sp4 and i've since upgraded to sp8 so i think this is telling me that if i do this i can no longer open my project in sp4 and that's fine um so i'm gonna hit click yes here and there we go. So we'll see now a visualization and a visualization manager has been added. Um, I can just come here and click build to make sure there's no errors. So before you add things, if you click build and you do get an error down here, you may not have the libraries necessary to add visualization objects to your project. So I'll this is a pretty common issue that we run into, and I'll, I'll give two, um, the two solutions at near the end of this video. But first, let's, let's talk about what's added here. So we can see a visualization manager and a visualization has been added. So if we click on the visualization manager, the first thing, um, this, this variable we'll talk about a little later. Uh, but we can select different styles of the the widgets in the visualization windows or the, the widgets in the tools that we'll be looking at, how they look. And with the later versions of the development environment, uh, 3.5 SP8 here, we get this nice little window that shows us what they look like. Um, for me, I'm using this white style here, and I'll just stay at that. But you can actually download other styles on the Codesys websites, and there, there's a lot of different styles available. These are only a subset of the ones that are available. Um, so I'm going to stay with the white style, and you can you know preview it down here. You can select your language settings if you like, uh, number pad, keypads different things here um i wouldn't i don't use this all all that much so i don't mess around with the the default settings too much um so i'm just going to keep it here um target visualization so this start visualization tells code assist that when the project starts what's the first visualization you want shown so right now we only have one page and we're linked to that so that's fine in update rate so this is the time in milliseconds that our visualization will 
be updated on the screen and in 200 milliseconds is usually pretty good i mean the human eye really can't see much faster than that so i would recommend keeping it at 200 or you can even go you know three or four hundred and and probably also be fine um scaling i i really haven't messed around with this one so i don't know much of what this does uh let's see that's and then web visualization so the the web visualization we'll talk about in another video but this is this requires a different runtime of codices or a different version of codices to be installed on the displays if you want to use a web visualization and it essentially allows a user to log into assuming they're connected to the display they can log into a server uh, that's created by codices on the displays and view a visualization from that server so you you can view the codices visualization from your computer or from a phone that's connected to the displays so it's it can be pretty useful uh but we're not going to go into it a lot in this video um okay and you'll you'll notice this visu task here is also added and just like we've talked about our task configurations in in previous videos how <coughs> codesys works it loops through and updates your tasks so your your main plc pl plc prg task is going to be updated every or looped every 20 milliseconds um here we're updating the visualization task every 100 milliseconds. So again, uh, it doesn't need to be any faster than this normally, um, but you may wanna slow it down. Okay, so finally we get to the meat of the, the user interface here, and this is this visualization component. So the first thing we can do is you'll notice right now we have this big white screen and that's because the scaling is uh not not scaled for our specific displays so we may be able to actually uh change the scaling here but i've always done it let's see use detected yeah we might be able to do that here let's try this so for our v series like the va and vc we use 800 in width whoops 800 by 480 Let's see if this works ah there we go so that worked so um by changing the scaling here it looks like we can change uh, the scaling for all of our visualization objects. So now as we come here, you'll notice this is scaled to 800 by 480. The other way you can do this is if you didn't change it here um, in target visualization, you can right click and hit properties and under visualization here, you'll notice there is a use specif specified visualization size so you can change it to the correct uh, size and width here so this gives you a better view of what will actually show up on the display and also keep in mind i i noted the size for the v series displays and the xa is 800 by 480 our larger displays are 1024 by 768 so like the xs xm displays are going to be 1024 by 768 resolution um okay so right now we have a a white background that's that's fine the main thing that i want to point out in this video is over here on the right we have our toolbox so these are all the components that we can add to our visualization within codices and i, I won't go into in this video how to link them and, and things like that. I'm going to do that in other videos so this doesn't get insanely long, but we will 
come to measurement controls here and let's just drag a meter here and come back to our toolbox on the bottom right here and we can also you know drag a, a bar for instance and make it I think actually you just go like this and go to this there we go so make it vertical um, so now we have essentially a gauge and a bar on our visualization um, in future videos we'll we'll look at how to change the background and add images and, and make this visualization uh, truly customized to what you're looking to develop you can brand it and add your own branding or add your color scheme that you want so we'll be looking at that in future videos uh, we'll end this video by building and making sure that we don't get any errors so we have zero errors zero warnings so everything looks good um and i did mention actually earlier that if you get errors i, I would <laughs> discuss how you may be able to start to resolve them so most of the errors that you get in this stage are going to be because you don't have the correct libraries necessary to support the visualizations so one thing you can do is come to Library Manager, and if you are missing libraries up here, once once you've used, uh, I believe this was this feature was added in in Codasys 3.5 SP6 and above, if I remember correctly, I'm using SP8, but if you're missing libraries, you'll have a a download missing libraries or repositories button here and that will usually allow you to download the libraries that you're missing that it detects your project needs um, so that's that's definitely a good way to do it another thing that we can look at is if we come to our support site here uh, in if we come to software so we've looked at this support site many times uh, support.crosscontrol.com in all the videos but we come to software codasys apparently my internet's running a little slow uh okay so on this page we have down here can and visualization components 2617 so so project archives in codasys as we've discussed briefly before allow you to package all the libraries and, and tools that you're using in a project package them and give them to another person and then they have all of those those tools that are required by the project so you can come and download this project archive canon visualization components and this contains all of the visualization libraries that i have and I'm currently using here. So this would, should allow you, once you uh, download this project archive and extract it, this should allow you to then uh, have all of the libraries needed to create your own visualization component like we did in this video. So hopefully one of those two things work for you. All right, uh, in future videos, we'll look at modifying this graphical user interface and making it more customized and adding backgrounds and, and different components and, and then finally linking these components into variables and can signals that we have coming in in the project thanks for watching